All right, uh, let's read uh, the statement of Dior. Uh, Thank you, Astralis. A lot of ups and downs in the last one and a half years. The split was by far the hardest mentally. Because of the new format, there were only three weeks to try and fix all the problems we had and the pressure from the lack of time made every single problem a lot worse. I thought I knew how to handle the situation problems, but after reflecting a lot about it, I can say that I took the wrong approach and it showed. I understand the decision that was made and I think it was necessary to not only grow as a player, but also as a friend and a teammate. Despite that, I enjoyed my stay in LEC and I'm grateful that I've gotten the chance to play against and with the best players. A lot of new friends and lovely memories to be remembered. Thank you all for making the tough times of my journey easier. The support was amazing. I hope I made some of you smile as well. Till next time. Honestly, respect. Respect. I think this is a, this is a good, good statement, you know. I think that... Um, uh, you know, it's it's a tough business. I think that Dior definitely was below the level uh, that was necessary to make his team competitive. And I think that um, if he views this in the right manner, then he's in a very privileged position to utilize the fact that he's still very young and he also has some experience that no other player in his position can say that they have. He's only 19 years old and he played in LEC for one and a half years. He went to, he played one split of ERLs and he won the split and he went to EU Masters and did super, super well. Uh, this level of experience at this Age is something that can definitely be leveraged into a lot more. And I hope that Dior takes the time off to rebuild himself and that he comes back fighting harder than ever. He definitely has an opportunity in front of him. From a strictly business perspective, you know, I think that Astralis... Uh, getting leader, getting Jizuke, I think is a step in the right direction. I think that, you know, Dior in terms of gameplay, he was lacking in the lane phase departments, his team fight, you know, in terms of how he side laned you. There's a lot of things there that he's been exposed to on the highest level that really, really, you know, I think that, um, you know, it gives you an easier path to improvement. I hope he really, really takes the time to really study the game and uh, to really, really try hard to, to, to become better. He has earned himself some time and I hope he puts that time to use. This is not the time for him to rest. He needs to rock hard and rock well and you know, move forward and show intensity. Very important. But I think... Three splits was a blessing, you know, it was a blessing for him because I think that um, someone could have come knocking earlier. And I think that Astralis is very fortunate, okay, insanely fortunate that Kobe and Yonghoon are playing so well. This is the main thing that makes Astralis attractive again. Because I think a lot of players just didn't want to join Astralis. They would rather compete in top level ERL or wait for better opportunities. And I think the fact that they have Kobe and Jonghoon uh, makes people want to join. I think that mechanically 113 is interesting enough. And I think Finn definitely ramped up le later on in the season, which I think is a big positive. I think that... Uh, you know, leader coming to this team will, will, will make them play spoiler. So I say leader because this is the rumor. Astralis is expected to field leader in the mid lane as a replacement for Dior. A verbal agreement has been reached, but the deal is yet to be signed. I think that um, leader is a very strong player. I think he is awkward enough. He's the perfect type of player to really put, uh, you know, in a team and already... I think that um, that team becomes dangerous. 
I think that Leader is awkward enough to play different to other mid laners, and I think he's mechanically good enough to compete. Uh, I think Leader is, is a player that has been on my radar for quite some time, and I'm very excited for this signing. I think this will make Astralis better. I definitely think this is making Astralis better. And I'm very happy that Astralis is not blinded by the results, and they recognize that this is something that needs to be done. This is a very, very good look. I, I think this is a, a step in the right direction. I think that uh, Leader is a dangerous player. I can only remember like one one strong game from Dior this split and it was his Silas game. It would be better if Astralis chose Aika. I don't think so. I think Leader is a stronger player than Aika. I think Aika is very good at winning games. Uh, but I don't think Aika, from what I know, is 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 good enough to to compete with the highest level mid laners uh, in the LEC. But I could be wrong on that, right? I am not watching every Aika game, so take it with a grain of salt, you know. I think Aika is very good at winning games, and there is a talent to that. 